What's going on guys? I don't know if you've seen it yet, but I've recently made a CNC plasma cutter. This is without a doubt one of the coolest projects I've ever worked on, but it's had a lot of problems. So a lot of these problems were not predictable. Some of them are obviously my fault, but little things like I couldn't get enough compressed air to reliably keep the torch running. And so you see behind me the new Strange Garage Super Compressor, which is just two six gallon tanks hooked together to one compressor head. A lot of you guys are thinking, well, why wouldn't you just go buy a brand new air compressor if you're making a CNC plasma cutter? Well, you see exhibit A here, which is a brand new air compressor. It stopped working day one. It went through two compression cycles. Remember, it's brand new, so I just put the oil in the compressor head and it stopped working. Literally smoke coming out, tripping 15 amp breakers, but with a 20 amp breaker, it literally starts to smolder and smoke comes out of it. So that's one of the issues. That's just one of the issues that this plasma cutter had. So this was just an interim to get me by so I can do the video. But probably the funniest problem that I had was when I got the plasma cutter to actually work with the software. So you go into Mach 3 and you hit start and the torch comes on. The very first time that worked, it shut my computer off. When I booted the computer back up, everything was gone. So there was an icon for Mach 3 still, but you open it up and it wouldn't even open the software. So I had to re-download Mach 3 and reprogram it. So to get it working the first time, it took like a half a day to get the software to run the plasma cutter. Fortunately, I took pictures, but it's really frustrating that I have to start over. I could write a novel about all the problems that I had with this build. I'm really happy that I did it. I'm, it's a really cool machine. It works really well. But man, this thing was a headache. I'm not gonna rush the video out. This is just an update of what I got going on. But hopefully you guys enjoy the video when it does come out.